2323, our 23rd tutorial. Alright, that was uh, unnecessary, but anyways. Now that we got all of our code typed, go ahead and let's go ahead and start working in the interface. So go ahead and click on main window.xib, and this is going to open your main interface file. So let's go ahead and let me rearrange everything all nice and neat. And let's go ahead and take a look at these icons file owner, responder, app delegate, of course, a window. But are saying, all right, what we are missing here is actually a view controller. And we actually need one. So let's go ahead and add one right now. So go ahead and click on the view controller. And the icon for that is right up here. If you uh, click on that, you can see it says View Controller. That's how you know you got the right one selected. And go ahead and drag this over to the window that says Main Window to XIB with all the other icons. So now you see a little View Controller pops up. And we'll be working in here later, but just move this to the side for now. Actually, what you can do is move this window out of the way and put your View Controller right here. Because now this is, well, I'll talk about this later on, but anyways. So now what we want to do now that your main window has a view controller, go ahead and click on that view controller icon and in your identity inspector, go ahead and by default this class is UI view controller. We want to go ahead and switch this to switch class. So now this view controller is the switch class. It pretty much switch class is now the class that handles the main windows view. So again, by adding a view controller to your main window and by changing that view controller's class, the switch class, now that switch class, all the code in there, is now the class that handles the main view for your program. Pretty cool, huh? That easy. So go ahead and from your library, well what we want to do now is we want to start working with this view. I mean since it's pretty much the main view for our program now. So the first thing we want to do is add a view to our gray window. So go ahead and the view is right here. It's just under uh, windows views and bars. It's just a little white dotted with gray background. Go ahead and drag this over on view just like this. And now we have a pretty much a blue background and this is pretty much a view for our screen. Easy enough. So we're saying all right. I remember you said that the only thing that's really going to be in here is a toolbar at the bottom. And I wasn't lying. Now we need to add a toolbar at the bottom. I mean, I need to keep my promise, don't I? So go ahead and select toolbar. And that's a little symbol with a, a button that you can't read at the bottom. I wonder what that says. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe toolbar. So go ahead and drag this over on the bottom. Make sure it's lined up looks pretty good and now what we need to do is I mean you don't need to change the buttons title but I'm gonna just go ahead and click this and put like switch views and now deselect it and it'll pop up so we're saying alright looks cool we're done right no not yet what we need to do is actually add that action method to this button but check it out go ahead and select this button and make sure you just don't click it twice or else it's going to double click press it once and then it's going to select to a bar wait a couple seconds so you don't double click press it again and it's going to select the button itself and you know when you select the button if in the uh, attributes it says bar button um, that's how you know you select the button on the bar so if you're saying alright I know how to add actions go over to your um, inspector click touch up drag it over to files owner no 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 a button is a little bit different. It only has one really thing that you can do to it. It's only touch up. So you don't go over to your uh, inspector right here and click touch up and drag it over. This is weird, but I know. Just follow along. What you need to do is control drag it to your switch class. So once your button's selected, control on your keyboard, keyboard, drag it over to your switch class, and now you see the methods from that switch class that we can use. Go ahead and select switch views, and this is the method that switches from one view to another. Again, there should only be one method in there because that's all we created aside from a couple properties, but those shouldn't pop up. So now that we added an action to that button, you're saying, all right, now I'm finally done. No, no, no. There's one more thing that you need to do, and I promise that's it for this tutorial. In order for that, your app delegate, which is pretty much the code that runs automatically when your program starts, in order to access 
this switch class and remember it needs to access this class so it can add this view to the main window so in order for your delegate to access the switch class and add that view to the main window what you need to do is control drag from this icon beans app delegate or whatever your project name is control drag over to switch class and that means to access it via the outlet switch class and now once they are linked together and you gave it that outlet again like I said it can now access that switch class and why do you need to access the switch class well to add a view to the main window so I know that might have been a little confusing but that is what you need to do to uh, pretty much get everything hooked up and situated so in our next tutorial we're going to be building the method itself that switch view method to switch from one class to another it's a uh, I don't know. I have n I have nothing to say. So, um, yeah, watch that tutorial. It's going to be a good one, and uh, we're almost done with this program. So, uh, if you have any questions, just ask me in my forum, and I'll be happy to help. So, uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.